West Bengal Panchayat results are out and it has been a resounding victory for the Trinamool Congress that's won by a landslide with the BJP coming a distant second and the left and the Congress coming third. It clearly establishes that the Trinamool is still in the poll position as far as Bengal is concerned and that the BJP, interestingly, is now the principal opposition to it. But this entire election process and even its results have been overshadowed by unprecedented levels of violence that is unusual even for West Bengal, a state which has a history of political violence. As of last count, more than 45 people have been killed ever since the polls were announced in June. And even on polling day, there were a number of people and workers who were killed as people were going out to cast their vote in the panchayat polls. Many of those killed, ironically, have been Trinamool Congress workers themselves. Now, all of this is something that is steeped in Bengal's political culture because we've seen for decades political violence, booth capturing, intimidation is very much a part of what Bengal used to be, certainly in the 60s, 70s and under the rule of the left front. What it proves is that nothing's really changed under Mamta Banerjee and the Trinamool. And this is not good for Bengal and certainly not good for democracy.